good day everyone we will discuss on troubleshooting sql server connectivity issues in this video let's get started let's try connecting to this um, sql server jbs ag1 and then see uh, what happens so right now i've logged into uh, the server jbs ag1 and i'm trying to connect to uh, this sql instance um, if we connect, if we try connecting SQL Server locally, then it basically uses uh, shared memory, and it, the connection should go fast. So right now, what I think is like there seems to be some problem. It is basically trying out, and then uh, it basically I think like it will come up with an error. Yep, this is the error. The error we are seeing is a network related or instance specific error occurred while establishing a connection to SQL Server. And it basically tells like provider name pipes, provider error 40. So this is the error. It is basically telling the main error is that system cannot find the file specify. So that is what we are seeing. So first thing first, uh, let's uh, start with the basic. Let's see if uh, SQL services is started. So let's uh, check that. What I'm seeing is like, uh, it seems like SQL services is down. So what I'll do, I will start the SQL server agent. So starting the SQL agent, uh, what it will do is like, since it has a dependency on SQL server, it will uh, start the SQL services also. Let's refresh it. Then if you can see here, uh, SQL services is started. Okay, so what we'll do now is like, we will try connecting to it. And uh, what I'm able to see is like, we are, uh, able to perfectly connect to sql server so let's refresh okay cool looks good so what we'll do now is like uh it um uh, the local connection that is i've logged into uh jbs ag1 server and tried connecting to jbs ag1 so everything worked fine so now what i'll do is like i will uh, log into a different server called jbs ag2 and from here i will try connecting to jbs ag1 and see if i'm able to make the connection so uh, again i'm seeing the same um, um, behavior wherein uh, the connection is taking some time the thing is like uh, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 is on the same location. So I don't expect uh, this kind of a delay to be frank. So there seems to be some problems. So let's wait for the message uh, and then see uh, what is that we are seeing. Okay, so what I'm seeing is like I'm uh, getting a message stating like um, uh, the same one, uh, same message as last time, but this time I'm not uh, uh, seeing a message. Uh, the system cannot find the file specified, but instead I'm seeing access is denied. So uh, let's see um, um, uh, what is going on uh, on the um, JBS AG1 server. Let's check if uh, the required protocols are enabled in JBS AG1. So let's head back to JBS AG1, open the configuration manager, and then let's go to the protocols. And then if you see here, name pipes and TCP IP is disabled. So what I'm going to do is like, at least for me, I'm going to enable um, the TCP IP here. Huh? Uh, and um, let's look at the uh, port that this is using. So what I'm seeing is like, it's in uh, default instance. And uh, what I'm seeing is like, uh, the port used is 1433, just to keep that in mind. So now what I'll do is like, now that I have uh, enabled uh, uh, TCP IP, I will restart the SQL services for uh, uh, the change to take effect. And then we will try connecting to uh, the SQL server. Okay, so the SQL services is uh, restarted and TCP IP is also enabled. Let's try a remote connection from JBS AG2 again. So uh, this time uh, we are able to uh, connect to um, uh, JBS AG1 without any issues. Cool, moving on, uh, what we'll do is like, we will uh, try connecting to um, uh, JBS AG1 uh, one more time and then see if uh, everything seems to be okay. all looks good so uh, we have kind of uh, uh, resolved this issue at least like we first looked for whether sql server was online and then we uh, enabled the required protocols let's try connecting to jbs ag1 um, after we have enabled tcp ip protocols 
um, it is, I don't think it is still connecting. Uh, let's wait for the error. Okay, so um, uh, we're getting the same error as last time, uh, even though we have enabled uh, TCP IP. We are uh, still seeing uh, the same error access is denied. Uh, so what I've, uh, we have done is like we have uh, made sure like uh, SQL services is online and also TCP IP is enabled. Now what we will uh, do is like let's check if uh, we are able to um, uh, connect to uh, port 1433 because we have uh, checked it that uh, um, uh, this SQL server which is a uh, default which is a default instance in JBS AG1 uh, uses the port uh, 1433. So let's. Uh, uh, perform a telnet to um, JBS AG1 on port 1433. It is better you can uh, use uh, the IP address also instead of the host name, but here I'm uh, uh, just trying with the host name. And uh, what I'm seeing is like there is high possibility uh, this port is not open on the JBS AG1 server. So since it is a lab machine, what I'll do now is like I will try uh, opening the port on JBS AG1. So the message is connecting to JBS AG1, could not open connection to host on port 1433, connect failed. So what I'll uh, do now is like I will uh, try opening the port in uh, JBS AG1. Again, this is a lab machine, so I'm just going to do it uh, uh, directly from the firewall on the server. But uh, as far well as um, um, uh, any uh, production server is concerned, I think we will have a separate firewall team and they will be maintaining all these things from a group policy. So it is uh, required that you need to update your firewall, firewall team and request them to open 1433 port on the database. Base server. Let's head back to uh, JBS AG1 and then uh, open uh, the firewall here. So uh, this is what I'm seeing Windows Defender firewall with advanced security. So now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to uh, add um, a new rule for uh, a port here and uh, the port would be TCP 1433. And then let's click on next, then allow the connection. Then here, yeah, what we'll do is like we will put it as SQL underscore one four three three. Let's click on finish. Now what we'll do is like we will try uh, telnet now from uh, JVS AG2. So yeah, this time the telnet uh, went fine. And now what we'll do is like we will uh, try connecting to um, uh, the SQL server and uh, see if the connection goes fine. Yep, the connection went fine uh, now. So uh, after we ensured like SQL services is online, TCP IP is enabled and then port 1433 or the port that the SQL server is um, uh, using is open, we were able to make the connection perfectly. So now what I'll do is like I will uh, uh, check for other scenarios. So um, um, and then we will uh, see if uh, we are able to uh, get any more errors. OK, so let's connect to uh, JBS AG1. And uh, let's wait for uh, it to either connect or uh, uh, come up with an error. OK, so um, the connection failed. It's kind of a same error, but uh, the reason now is like the network uh, path was not found. So previously it was uh, the system cannot find the file specified and then access is denied. But this time it basically tells like network path was not found. So uh, it is something to do with um, the connection to uh, JBS AG1. So what we'll do now is like we will try uh, 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 pinging uh, JBS AG1 from the command prompt. Okay, so let's uh, ping JBS AG1. So now what you're seeing is like uh, JBS AG1, uh, it is pinging JBS AG1, jbswiki.com, and then it is resolving to IP address 172.20.1.55. And then it basically tells like uh, we are seeing 172 uh, reply from 172201.6. So there seems to be some uh, problem when we are trying to uh, 
ping JBSAG1. It is basically not um, uh, uh, pinging. So uh, that is the reason we are not able to connect. Let's head to uh, JBSAG1 and find out the IP address there. Or what we'll do is like we will uh, message, we'll um, ping it from uh, JBSDC. So JBSAG1. The IP address seems to be 172.20.1.5. Uh, this is the IP address that we are seeing. Let's do a uh, ping iPhone and A. Okay, it is small A, I guess. And yeah, so it is definitely pinging to JBSAG1. So, uh, but on the server, what I'm seeing is like uh, uh, instead of uh, 172.20.1.5, I'm seeing like it is trying to ping 172.20.1.55. So what I'll do now is like I will check for uh, the host file entry and then see if there are any um, entries there. So let me open the host file. And then if I yeah if you if I we see here there seems to be a wrong entry here, so what I'll do is like I will comment this out because uh, the IP address should be 172.20.1.5, but it is uh, uh, changed as uh, 55 in the host file entry. So let me save that, and then now what you'll do is like we'll try pinging this. And now it is uh, pinging correctly and then let me try connecting to the SQL server and see if it works this time. There you go, it works fine. Let's look at the next scenario. Let's connect to uh, JBS AG1 for this particular scenario and uh, it is working fine without any issues. Let's try connecting to uh, JBS AG1. So let's wait for it to either complete or um, uh, give us an error. Okay, so uh, it's the normal error, uh, net network related or instance specific error has occurred. But this time, uh, the reason we are seeing here is like no such host is known. So this is the error that we are seeing this time. So it seems like um, 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 it is not able to connect to JBS AG1 because it basically tells like uh, it doesn't understand what is JBS AG1 is. So what we'll do is like we'll try pinging the server and then see if uh, we are able to ping JBS AG1. Okay, um, so uh, right now we are on the same server as JPSAG1 and still um, uh, the ping is going on fine. So that it doesn't seem like a problem. Since we are on the same server, it shouldn't be a big problem. But what I understand is like uh, it basically tells like it is not able to um, uh, uh, find this particular host. So what we'll do now is like we will check if uh, there are any aliases created. So let's uh, go to start run, C-L-I-C-O-N-F-G. And then see if there are any aliases. Okay, we don't see any alias here from the uh, SQL Server Client Network Utility. Let's go to the um, uh, Configuration Manager and then see if there are any aliases. Okay, and... Uh, Yep, there is an alias here. So if you look at it here, what uh, is happening is like the alias name is JBSAG1, port is 1433, looks good, but the server used is JBSAG11. So then uh, there is an, uh, um, a typo here. Um, what we can do is like either we can um, uh, uh, recorrect it, or in this case, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to delete it because I don't need an alias here. So let's try connecting to SQL Server now and it works fine. Let's look at the next scenario, please. So right now we have worked on uh, default SQL Server instances. In case you have a connection issue on a named instance, uh, it is good to check your uh, browser services and see if it is um, um, working fine. That is whether it is online or not. If it is not online, then you basically have to uh, uh, start it if you don't use an, um, a static port. And also like uh, there is no harm in restarting the SQL browser services to check if everything is working fine. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.